I think it's about five months since Bournemouth has won a league game. Is the confidence of the players starting to be affected by this uh, at the end, we knew, no, we had a, a tough schedule in the beginning of the of the season. But this today is the first day that I really finished. Like we we were not at the level, no, that the the opposition required us. It's true that Arsenal has they've played really well. They are a very very good team, and we have to be really really good if we have if we want to 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 compete. But uh, I, I will take the that the start of the game we started we lacked a little bit of the, the the aggressiveness to regain position high and we started to get tired we couldn't uh, be so so dangerous no? so, so also win the ball quite high up especially second half a lot of talk about your Arsenal's attacking play, but Mikel's team, you know, how highly do you rate them in terms of how difficult it is to play through? I think they are a very, very good team out of possession. Very, very good team because they have the very good players they have. I'm thinking in Odegaard, in Havertz, in Declan Rice. They are very good without the ball in the press, in winning duels, second balls, and it gives them strength in the midfield, no? To, to to try to recover high and and attack from there because also they have very good uh, wingers to to make the difference. Can I just ask you what would you like to see Mikel again today? All three now in the Premier League together. Yeah, once the game starts, you forgot about these things. You focus on the sporting side. I congratulated him and uh, I will just talk to him right now as, as soon as I, I finish but uh, during the game at the end you, you forget about these things <laughs> yes I think it's uh, more than the the result that uh, you can you can lose against this kind of teams because they were really good but it's I think the first game I felt no, this season that we were not at at the level no, and uh, we we need to be a, a give our best, be at our best level to to compete against this kind of teams. And we were not, especially after the one nil, we were not there today. Would it be fair to say that the first three goals come from not individual mistakes but mistakes at the back? Yes, especially the we cannot concede two penalties because at the end is almost conceding two goals against this kind of opposition. Uh, and also first goal is a bit strange. I don't think he tries to finish Gabriel Jesus. It's a rebound, but we should be there. At the end, we lose the position against the one who scores, against Bukayo Saka. And there are mistakes that uh, take you out because we, we started really well the game today. We were playing, I think, we were doing well. But uh, after the 1-0, I think they were better than us. That perhaps the biggest difference from the first half was decision making in both boxes. Yeah. I think to concede two goals in the first half is too much because they didn't have a lot more chances, you know. And we touched a lot of balls in their box. I remember one from Dom, from Phil, from Ryan. And uh, they were really good. They defended really well. I think they blocked almost everything. And even we were close, but we, we didn't have the, the fin final product, no. It might be quite naive to say, but it kind of feels like sometimes there's too many touches in the box that the shot can come earlier. I know you, you said about sometimes you have to attack in different ways. Is it a case of perhaps you, you do need to shoot one or two touches before? Yes, I think today they especially uh, remember uh, actions in the first half where we had the chances to shoot, to shoot. It's true that they were blocking, they had the the, the players covering and uh, especially I remember a couple of ones from Gabriel, very good defensive actions, but uh, were, 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 they were real, real chances for us. But we, we, we couldn't even, I remember one save that Raya has made at the end, but we didn't even uh, make them uh, create these saves. Does it kind of knock the team's confidence the platform at some result? I think it's the, the first time I felt like we were not you know, at the level that the, the, the competition required. Uh, we didn't finish well the game. Also, when I I, I took uh, a midfielder, we finished with two forwards and then we, 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 it was not a lot of time, but we even finished worse than we were doing. And it's, it's true that it's the, probably, no, for sure, the, the game that worst sensation leaves me.
Uh, just two more, I mean, if I can. Did you kind of feel the substitutes made any impact? Uh, I think they tried. It was difficult because they were un in control of possession, so you have to to run, to try to to make plays. But uh, it's not that I felt we were we finished better. No, I think last minutes were probably our worst. Yeah. And just finally, Tyler Adams missing out the score is that a precaution or setback? No, I think it's uh, I don't know what you call it a setback, but he's not feeling well. He is not feeling well, and he has been out for a lot of time. So we have to to reassess, to to I don't know how you say it, to reset, to take the good decisions, thinking in 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 everything. But it's true that he's he he's gonna be out for for some time for sure. Yeah. Is that the same like <coughs> same injury issue? Yeah. I think it's the same area. I, I I couldn't tell you if it's exactly exactly the same point, but it's it's true that it's his his hamstring that he's not he's not feeling well.